All right, this is how we're going to set up an HTML editor, uh, specifically for HTML5 uh, with JavaScript. And I'm going to start with a blank folder here, as I have here. And I'm going to go ahead and right-click on that. And I'm going to come down here to New. And I'm going to come here to Text Document and click on that. Now, if you notice, I have a new text document. And the extension shows is .txt right here. It's important that you see that extension automatically. If you don't see that extension, you're going to come out, have to come up in your tools panel or equivalently and make some changes. And like, for example, folder options, and you come here to view, and then you see where it says um, uh, hide extensions for known file types. If that's checked, make sure you uncheck it. Okay. And then just go ahead and put OK. That's what I'm doing down here. And you'll be able to see that extension. Now that I can see that extension, I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to rename it. And I'm just going to rename the extension for now. And I'm going to come over here and get rid of the dot .txt, uh, the txt part and leave dot .html and then press the Enter key. And I'll get a warning message. It says if you change a file uh, extension, this may become unstable, but I'll put yes. Now, as soon as I do that, what happens is that the icon changes, and it changes to my default browser, which just happens to be Google Chrome. Uh, if you don't have Google Chrome installed on your desktop, my suggestion is if you're going to do HTML5 JavaScript, you use Google Chrome, because it, it will take uh, most of the HTML5 standards, uh, i.e. doesn't, uh, but I, I guess it eventually will, like, like, like in the past. So if I double left click on this, I'll get the Google Chrome browser to come up, and there it is, and there's nothing in it, uh, because I haven't put anything in it yet. But in order to put something in it, what I do is I come back over here to the browser icon, I right click on it, and I put open with and I come here, put open with Notepad. Okay, so there is Notepad now. So I have Notepad on one side, and I have the browser on the other. So Notepad becomes my editor. I'm going to type something in there like Hello World, H-E-L-L-O, uh, W-O-R-L-D. And then what I have to do is I'm going to come here to File, and then save it first, then come over here and refresh it, and there you see now on the browser, you see Hello World. Just to show that this really does work, I'll come back over here to Notepad, and I'll put in an HTML tag, like, say, H1. Okay. And then I'll go here to File, and I'll save it again. And I'll come back over here and do a refresh. And sure enough, there's a nice, big, large Hello World. So what we're going to be using in this series of lessons is we're going to be using Notepad as the editor in order to learn how to do uh, JavaScript for HTML5. Okay, thanks for watching the video.